Here I have my DSi. We don't even need this thing, but well, the only thing that's good of that's better about this is um the GBA slot, pretty much. So two bad things about the DSi is it's funny texture and lack of GBA slot. That means lack of migrating and lack of uh, Guitar Hero. So here, um, I'm going to show you another feature. Well, not really feature, but this time I'm just going to show you settings. And you'll see how this, the DSi, is so much like the Wii. Here I have my message up there, and this looks just like the Wii settings me menu. Data management, wireless communication, blah, 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 blah. Profile date, time alarm, uh, parental controls, touch screen, right where uh, the, sens the sensor bar sensitivity would be, mic test, internet, uh, format system, and then system update, which you can actually do, which is a good thing. Another good thing about the DSi, which there are a lot of good things about the DSi. And, um, now I'm going to go back to the DSi menu. Yes, I would like to go back to the DSi menu. And now I'm going to show you the camera. I'm going to take a picture of my old... See, now... Okay, let me start off. I'm going too far ahead. Here we have the SD card and the system memory. So we can take pictures and save them to the system or SD card and view pictures on the SD card. Whoops, uh, oh no, pressed the wrong thing. Oh, I don't know how to show that. Or system, so we can view pictures from both and take pictures on both. And I like using my SD card because it holds a lot of pictures even though I have a lot of music on it so um right now I'm going to show you well actually I'm going to show you the camera first the camera has a few functions well first of all this is normal mode and you can see the camera I'm using we have options to capture it quit or switch and if you're wondering what switch is just tap that we have the other camera and actually you can't see it from my camera but the picture is pretty good it fills up the whole screen and the resolution is so good that it can even it's better than the DSi screen so I'm gonna go ahead and take a picture using the L R A or pressing capture the capture button and you can see here um the light is on so go ahead and take a picture and um which came out pretty well so i'm going to switch it and quit now i'm going to show you some more features this is the distortion feature on the camera let's first restore it now watch this yeah pretty cool i can mess around with my camera. Hope it still works. So now my camera is completely messed up. And you can see wow, my camera's picking up its own reflection in its reflection. Wow. Anyway, um so then you can restore it and I'm going to show you the other feature. This is the graffiti feature. Uh let's clear this. Now you have an option of a few things. You can Dock down little things. Pretty useless. This is sort of funny. It barks when you put down the paw print. Uh, there's an eraser. You know, erases. Typical thing. Now you can select from a few different colors of pencils. There's also rainbow, which I find pretty cool. So you can um, draw in rainbow. So it's like random rainbow colors. Uh, there's also 
some you take a color from somewhere. Get out randomly choose a com color around the room. Uh, how about my head? Okay, now I have the color of my head. Not my head, but my hair or whatever I clicked. Now we're gonna quit and that falls away. Uh, we have this which I find pretty cool. Watch. Now we're in a we're colorless. I click something. It restores color, but the rest is black and white. Except whatever weird color it is. As you can see, it restored the sort of like brownish in the background and my face, but not really my shirt and whatever I have on these shelves up here. That's pretty cool. And now we have a color pad, which is slightly different. Just watch this. I can change the color. Now my face is blue. I can make it purple. I can be an oompa loompa, whatever I want to do. And then I can restore it. Uh, give the mirror thing. Uh, uh oh, I took a picture accidentally. Didn't mean to do that. Uh, well, that's a pretty goofy picture. But, um, see, we can make it mirror and we can spin this around. There's also, um, this and this. There's mischief. If I put my face down, see, look, now I have a pig's nose and can choose from a bunch of other features, but I really don't feel like messing up my face. There's an emoter, which I'll show you really quickly. See, now it's making me look happy with some, by bending my face. Now there's, um, a merge where you can take a picture of a face and then merge it into another one which isn't that great um, you can do a resemblance test take a picture with another person and then it'll check your resemblance then you can do it with a photo frame and it takes a random frame and plops it down then you can change the frame and, for example, I made a few frames. You take a picture of something, and then you erase what what um, you don't want. And I took a picture of a candle and erased the inside, except the fire. And um, so you put your face in there, and it's funny. And, like, my, I did it to my dog, a flower, uh, my other dog. So you can make your own stuff. It's pretty cool. Um, and the, it also has pre-made stuff, so, that's the camera, wow, eight minutes of that, so now, um, we can look at pictures that we already got and edit them, I'm not gonna go through that, because, um, we just went through all that, so I'm gonna take some random picture from the car show today, and, um, at the Javits Center. Yeah, and um, this is some random car. And now, we have a picture. There's a picture up here showing the date and everything that it was taken. Here's a car down at the bottom. We can choose to zoom. And then we can move it around with the stylus. It's really pretty cool. I have to say, I'm pretty impressed with this. Um, the camera is... Like I said before, it's only pretty, it's only very good in, um, in good or okay light, but when you get in bad light, it's, it's not the best. So, um, I would suggest, um, somehow putting a flash on your DSi up here. I don't know how you would do that, but I'm going to try to do this later. Um, that's, so that's the camera and the menu for you. And, um, so this is, what, part three or something? Yeah, I think it's part three. But, um, <clears throat> so that's my DSi review, part three. And in conclusion, the camera and the mem menu are pretty good. I don't know why. I well, the menu is like the Wii, and the camera is very good. It can actually replace some cameras. In fact, I'm actually going to throw in a few pictures that I took into the video with this camera and you'll see that it's really awesome now of course I don't even have to compare it to the DS Lite because 
Obviously, the DS Lite does not have anything of that kind, so go away. Uh, so, yep, that's the conclusion, and I hope I have enough time to add in the pictures. So, yeah, bye.